Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron. And today, instead of doing a stickering video, I'm now moving on to, uh, now that I'm done with all my stickers I have so far, I'm moving on to kind of what I got for Christmas. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was a figure that I was not expecting. Uh, this was a gift for my girlfriend. I'm not huge into the Transformers Michael Bay movies, um, but she wanted to surprise me with the Transformers, so I guess she went and picked this out. And it is KSI Sentry. So I guess I, I haven't seen the movie he's from, uh, but I what I read online is he's a clone. It's a mass-produced copy of a Bumblebee clone. Stinger was a clone of Bumblebee, and then they mass-produced versions of him as this guy. Um, he turns into a Pagani Huria. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, but it is a pretty sleek looking sports car. With the way he transforms, it is a little panel-y. Um, they're kind of a little gappage here and there. This, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little under the weather. This gap right here, I assumed was a mistransformation. I thought maybe I needed to, to turn this more to get it to sit flush, but I guess that's just part of the design. Um, but yeah, he's a pretty nice looking car, even if it is a little panel -y. I really, my favorite part is the blue color. I don't know if that kind of attracted her to pick him out. Um, Stinger is red, and that red doesn't really do anything for me, but this sort of blue color, I really, really dig. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that, as far as I can tell, and I transformed it right, it does not roll. He's got uh, this thing back here, which I think is a thing on Stinger that doesn't do anything on the KSI Sentry but that still prevents the tires from really touching the table. And it is a small car. This is one thing I wanted to mention. So we've got a blue Bumblebee mold that's not Bumblebee. Here we've got another blue Bumblebee mold that's not Bumblebee and Nightbeat. Uh, this came out in 2014 for $15. This came out in 2019 or 18 for 20, 25 bucks. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so real quick, Night Pete's a little bigger uh, that way, but then in length. But then if you look at him, he is definitely kind of a bulkier car. And he, he feels it too. He's a little heftier. Um, I'm not normally one to complain about the prices of, of Transformers figures. And I recognize the engineering is pretty cool to make him do what he can do. Um, if this was an $18 toy, I think I'd be much happier with it than a what I've seen at Kroger. They can go for like 25 bucks nowadays. Uh, I don't really have a lot of the, the Michael Bay Transformers characters, but one that I do have to compare it to, this is uh, Swerve, which is a G1 Sideswipe colors on a movie Sideswipe mold called Swerve, if I remember right. And here you can see a definite size difference. And this is probably 15 bucks in 2009. Um, but yeah, so you can see here they're definitely... Uh, the Studio Series is on the smaller size, which I guess is actually, for those that collect it, is probably one of the draws because it does, I guess it maybe it's a small car so it can be in scale with, <coughs> say, Optimus in truck mode or something like that. But yeah, so as a car, it looks fine, um, but let's go ahead and get him transformed. And this is one that I, I practiced it a couple times off camera. Let's see if I can do it on camera. So I want to separate out the back panels of the car. Oh, come on. One came out really easy. There we go. There we go. Come up front, separate out the front panels, hopefully. Oh, oh no, it's the side panels, the arms. That one, oh right, it's, uh, the roof comes off because that turns into his weapon. Come up front, separate out. There's a little notch. You can unplug there too. And then he kind of explodes and folds outward, which is actually a pretty cool, like, I know the Michael Bay films didn't really have, like, scripted, defined transformations, but... This feels like a Michael Bay transformation in a way. Fold the legs down. <clears throat> the car parts fold backwards again 
to form the backs of the legs, fold the feet out, and you have the legs done. Then this little piece of the car, you can tap it in. <clears throat> and then you can take his chest, the hood of the car, and you rotate it 360. Oop, there we go. <coughs> oh. And then you take his shoulders, flip his head out, and take his uh, sh oh, shoulders and fold them in. And I'll talk about that in just a second. To make kind of a Michael Bay style chest mess. <coughs> Turn his head around, drop it down. And then these can come on his shoulders. And actually, in my transformation, this is something I was going to talk about. Uh, I already broke uh, his car hood weapon thing. Um, I had seen this as a stress mark uh, beforehand. I thought I was being pretty gentle with it, but I guess maybe I wasn't. I also think it, it is kind of... a an issue of maybe the design that is a very thin piece of plastic. I've actually seen a lot of stress marks all over the toy, um, which is unfortunate because I do like to transform my figures. And if I can't transform him because I'm afraid I'm going to break him, that's that's pretty unfortunate. <coughs> there, if we can get the camera to focus, is going to be KSI drone in bot mode. All right, now that KSI drone is in bot mode, uh, the last thing is, I guess I, I forgot to do, is his little weapon accessory that plugs in the back of the car mode can also slot. Uh, let's see if I can carefully slot it in. I believe this tab here lets you slide uh, this piece in, or maybe, yeah. And then you can wrap it around, giving him kind of a, a claw arm, which which doesn't look bad. But yeah, again, I, I'm not one for the aesthetic style of the movie. Like, this chest is just kind of a mess to me. Um, his body proportions, like, his legs seem long, the chest seems small. Um, but, you know, it's it's not a bad toy, I mean, besides being a little flimsy. Um, the head can look around pretty decently. It's pretty expressive. I love the clear light piping. That looks, that looks really, really nice. The shoulders can move in and out in 360. Um, the, the car kibble on the outside of the shoulders, you can move to get it however you want so you can get his arms out. Uh, he's got bicep swivel and a bend so he can go 90 degrees. No wrist motion. It looks like it's all one molded piece. Um, nothing in the waist because of the way he transforms. And then the hips do the full Van Damme and everything. And the knees bend 90 and then he's got a little toe tilt. So not, not the most posable thing, but you can get him in some, some pretty cool poses. And again, like I said before, he is small. He does have, oh, one more thing. He does have, again, this thing that I don't really know what to do with, I guess, it held some of uh, Stinger's accessories previously that uh, doesn't really apply now that he's uh, now that he's a KSI drone or KSI sentry. But yeah, so um, I think the last thing is just to do a quick size comparison. So again, we've got a blue figure that used to be Bumblebee. Here's another one from the Generations line. So you can see, you know, he is shorter and a little less bulky. Um, and then against Swerve, you know, Swerve is definitely the bigger figure here. If I can get Swerve is a little tough to stand up because he's got those wheel pieces. But yeah, overall, uh, you know, would I buy it for myself? No. But as a Christmas present, it's a nice little figure to have. I really like the alt mode. This might be a figure that I leave in alt mode because the robot mode doesn't do a ton for me. And yeah, if I think if you want this mold, um, if you can find it 
uh, at a store at discount for you know 15 bucks or maybe 10 bucks it's a it's a nice little transformer figure if you need to you know sate your urge to buy something plastic but yeah that's just a quick look at ksi sentry and uh i guess check me back uh check back with me next week and we'll go over flywheels have a great day guys